So, uh, I put a five minute timer up for we'll start soon. So you'll probably see go live notifications if you follow. Um, but it's a blank screen, can't hear anything. Well, they can hear me, but you. yeah. yeah. <coughs> <laughs> what did you break? I didn't do anything. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, no, not at all. There was no, there was nothing personal about what I did. It was all theatrics. Go with that. <laughs>
my god. Okay, okay, wait, but we we watched a um We're a live. production. We oh live. cool. We watched a production <laughs> of Midsummer Night's Dream. And we we were laughing when um Hermia and Helena were going at each other, like because we were like, wait a sec, is that what we would look like if we fought? Like me and Sherry are sitting there. There's literally an entire section of them fighting being like, you're insulting my height. I'm not so sure I can't claw your eyes out. I, I can say I, it. I can say it. I want like a, a inspirational poster of that quote. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, good time. So anyway, we are live. So yes, we are live. <laughs> I hope you all are well. So, so join us next week for the uh, the soaking Sharice cage match. That's going to be uh, that's going to be coming through. I don't want to fight Sharice. Pla- place will your win. bets. Place your bets in the chat below. Uh, <laughs> the exciting Sharice conclusion of all of your deaths. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> anyways. Don't, don't kill my bird, dude. Don't worry, Sophie. W- the cage fight will not be between me and you. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm interested. It's just in a, a late stage development in the cage match next week. <laughs> All right. So, um, anyone want to do a quick, quickie little recap? We're freaking yeah. died. This motherfucker <laughs> murdered us. Yeah, we we, 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 we got TPK'd last session. We were trying to find Cedar's parents on the Isle of Voices, I believe it was called. Um, and just. One of them died, and despite Thanos our best efforts to stay together, uh, despite our be- best efforts to stay together, something in the mist separated us all. We all had our own weird little encounters and just general fits of trauma and bad dice rolls. And our beloved DM decided um, to TPK us. So right now, uh, all the characters are dead. All because he's salty, because we forget to sleep. No, two of you forget to sleep. <laughs> I, I didn't sorry. think we were going man. I was meditating. <laughs> I, I'm I sorry no that I created an exhaustion <laughs> trap. <laughs> yeah. See, we, we have that in real life, and I'll be feeling that tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh. Thank you for um, uh, staying up to do this, Harry. Thank you. No oh, worries. also, no worries. real quick... Before we start, I do want to hear Doku give a um, very quick description of the horrifying deaths he gave us. Because, you know, no one should be spared from that trauma. But also, also, um, I don't know if you're watching, but my cousin Mike, uh, it is his birthday today. Happy birthday, Mike. Thank Hi. you for Happy your birthday, support. Happy birthday, Mike. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, oh, hey, also. Chaotic Hello, Chaotic. Us. Hey, Chaotic. We <laughs> died last week. Yeah, <laughs> that- Chaotic in the chat. Chaotic had killed us. <laughs> I mean, what? Not a dickhead. No, omniscient god. <laughs> Chaotic, you do indeed have adventurers here. Oh. Um, yeah, so, so like a like a Korean TV show starring zombies, all of us are dead. So, um, yeah. Also, Chaotic, I got this for you. You better fucking know what it is. And, uh, Another chaotic monster. Chaotic monster. It's literally called Chaotic Monster. Oh, that's <laughs> it's five o'clock for you. Yes, yes, it is. That's it's fine. like nearly half eleven for me. And Sophie, this one's for you. No, no, it is not. <laughs> In any case, though, would you like to describe the beautiful, horrifying deaths you gave each of us? Um, I kind of want to make you guys do it because I think you guys are more emotionally traumatized by it than I would. Than I was. But you did such I'm, I'm a beautiful too... description. <laughs> did I? Is it bad that I'm, <laughs> my adult brain is like, that was so two weeks ago, I'm only thinking about how I'm going to kill you guys again now? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have I to win, but I can lose over and over and over. <laughs> various, various falling aparts. Uh, some I of got you... stabbed through the, through the stomach. You got stabbed through the stomach, yeah. And ice cream. Ice cream oh, thing. yeah. Uh. Someone, oh god, yeah. Someone got turned into mush and then. Up. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I yeah. can feel the discomfort under my skin. <laughs> did anyone actually look it up, or did I post it? The the little baby's dryers ice cream or whatever. That's what I was envisioning. I did not look it up. No, I, know, I saw it. No, what? That's what I was envisioning no, no, no. when I the whole melty thing and the eating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, word. Anyways, oh. 
we'll save it for after session. I don't want to traumatize you going into this. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yay, nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> do <laughs> share it now? Is that what you're saying? Torment them now? Roll for trauma. <laughs> roll for trauma. <laughs> <laughs> Chaotic, you. we don't need to roll. It's already with us. Okay, I know my jaw fell off, but I didn't remember the rest of it because I was so caught off guard by the jaw just dropping off my body. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm okay. concerned about how Gale died. I just remember just freaking out over the fact my blue Mothman boy <laughs> is on death saves. Did he just, like, crash into the ground? Just absolutely... Not yet, just, no. just got... Not not quite bodies yet. It's just there you go. Yeah. Hi. I I, I, I it's, it's Why are you like this? Uh, I have to look, but I'm gonna <laughs> I, regret I, it. I have seen this and oh, I hate gosh. you for it. <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> okay, Why? I can just. I hate you for this. What? What? No! 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 Find this. This. <laughs> I don't think uh, you want no to ask that question, uh, Charisse, no that's okay. Go back to rolling us. That's okay. <laughs> I will. I will. Um, and no chaotic. I yeah. And that's been just a small much, taste. So I haven't issued out any gear yet. <clears throat> and that, folks, is just a small taste of our reactions this session. Okay. What's up? You're gonna make it so our characters come back. We don't hunt you down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for some of us, that's going to be very, very difficult. Well, Just that... putting that out there. Well, that being said, well. who wants to go first? <laughs> Yo. <gasps> yeah, the ice cream. Mm. Let's let's start with the ice cream before it melts. Uh, yeah. <laughs> horrifying game. Who, who was ice creamed? I can't remember. Yo. It was Dana. It was Dana, that's right. Dana was ice creamed. All right. <clears throat> so you're breathing. Um... You fall into a sleep. You died. You draw your last breath as the fog fills your lungs. And in a state of life flashes before your eyes and rolling for death boxes, you're visited. I don't have to roll for death boxes. No, you don't. But you're still dead. For the moment. Yes. Yeah. So, but you're still dead. <laughs> okay, so I'm visited. You are visited. I'm waiting for the image to load. It's not copying. Okay. Right. I think my maps page is oh. like, you have too many images here. Unsupported image type. Maybe, maybe get rid of the horrifying. Um, always, if it's mix unsupported sword. image type, I always screenshot it and then um, use it. Magically makes it so it works now. <laughs> Whoa. Nope. I like that. That's funny, that. I like it. Oh, gosh. Damn. <laughs> oh, my lordy. Hey, I... So beautiful. We gonna die again. We gonna die again. <laughs> Dibs. Oh, no, 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 guys. Be positive. Positive. <laughs> positive. Positive deaths. I'm positive we're going to die again. <laughs> <laughs> you are welcomed to a domain adjacent to the one you're in. You feel fear, adrenaline, rush, feelings that you would feel alive but almost suspended in nothingness. Your consciousness only views the image before you and you hear kind of a ghastly voice and she speaks. Welcome, traveler, to the land of nightmares. You get one question, and I get one question. What is it that you seek?
How do I stop the fog? How do I stop the well, not sorry, not how do I stop the fog? How do I stop the exhaustion? The exhaustion comes from the creatures around you as does the fog, but like all covens, they're run by a single creature. All you must do is find her, or speak her name, or reach out to her. And you're awake in the middle of a forest, completely reassembled alive, breathing, tired, mm. with one point of exhaustion. Okay. You awaken, ready to go. So <laughs> I'm going to stand up. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm gonna lick my arm to see if there's any flavor there. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Oh my god. My sister, my sister Mackenzie, you all know her, the little one. She bit me the other day and then said I tasted like vanilla. So when when you say when you say the little one, is this in reference to you or I'm gonna leave you on this island. <laughs> I, I I can fly. I can't get out of the You box. taught me. Um so yes, um <laughs> Uh, let's say, um, you, do you actually just lick yourself? Yeah, genuinely. Uh, genuinely. <laughs> um, okay, roll, uh, investigation then. Okay. <laughs> Fifteen. Okay, um, yes, you are covered in a small film mm. of what just feels kind of like slime. It's just very thin. Um, uh -huh. But it tastes like ocean water. Mm -hmm. Like you were swimming on the beach and just it splashed into your mouth. You have that hint of seaweed mm -hmm. uh, and everything else. So. When I question and then uh, do I get a turn or is it, are you going to move on to someone else? Um, I'll give you a turn. Okay. When I pull out my swords, are the rights still active? or No, you died. Okay. So... You would um, have to reactivate if you wanted to. Mm, so then, yeah, I will. Um, oh, shit. Mm. No, I'll try to. Um, I'll try to. Ga I'll try to gather my surroundings, get my bearings, and um, follow the trail that I was following before I died. Okay. Um. So you're kind of just looking down, kind of following a path? Well, I, I was on the scent of something mm -hmm. um, last time before I died. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to follow that same scent, okay. effectively. Roll in nature, then. Okay. Am I doing this straight, or with advantage, or...? Well, since you have one exhaustion, you're doing it straight. Okay. Tr traditionally, you would have advantage on this roll, but mm -hmm. you do not currently. But it prevents you um, from disadvantage. So. Right, that's 24. Okay. <clears throat> you begin kind of walking through um, the path where you think the creature was. Um, you said 24? Yes. And you are kind of walking through footsteps and through the description of the creature... Um, that you saw earlier and you're just kind of looking through these footsteps um, and although it's not something you've necessarily seen um, before personally you remember the legends of them and um, that was a strong enough nature role to remember a name of the creature which I will uh, put in chat for you here momentarily
it hates me. Where's my chat with you? I think you're still typing out my name there for a second. I thought, how long is the name for this monster? No, I was, <laughs> I was trying to send a message. But what sort of eldritch being have you conjured for us here today? <laughs> Discord would not let me shorthand. I couldn't just click the name and send a message because it was an image. So I had to find, find her and then... Anyways, Discord's dumb. It just didn't yeah. update. It hates me. Um, um, is that the end of my turn or can I do more? That'll be the end of your turn for now until oh, okay. we round out. All right. Uh, any volunteers for next? All right, I'll go for it. <laughs> no, no, you know what? You can have it. Go ahead, go ahead. You can go. You can go. Go ahead. All right, Cedar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you guys are so British for Americans. You really are. No, after you. No, after you. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. But I also, I'm stuttering and I have anxiety, correct. so like... I will teach you to say bottle of water same. correctly, and then we will decide. Oh, correctly. I told them inconsiderate all my life, so. Bottle of water. <laughs> You're not, though! Anyway. You're visited. You find yourself in the same realm. Though, yours for some reason smells a little bit like home. But home after everyone in the city had died and it had been rotting in the sun for days. Ew. You recognize the air but just salted crisp with just bog of death. And you oh. see this image just this single eye staring down at you. Question for question. What is it that you see? A way to make things right and a way to protect them all of them and who is it that you wish to protect my family by blood and by bond your father came here with the same goal unfortunately And you find yourself awake, gasping for air. The fog filling every ounce of breath and just filling your chest, just burning as you just kind of jet awake. <coughs> and you are sitting. There's a dampness to the ground. It kind of soaks up into your feathers as the fog just exits your breath, kind of like vape smoke, just moisture. And you are awake. What do you do? Um, I take a deep breath. I kind of like shake my feathers out a little bit just to kind of almost like reset. And I look around to see if I can find my mother because I remember seeing her uh, die in front of me and crumble into ash. And also trying not to think about that too hard. So, you're going to look for your mother. What, mm -hmm. uh, what actions are you going to take? Um, give me two seconds. I want to roll investigation and uh, call out as I start walking up the same path I was going. Which is like kind of, I noticed that the island had like kind of a slope so i'm trying to go up okay um and i just kind of call out mother mother please tell me you're here and not dead because i can't take that right now and roll your investigation Nineteen. So you, you didn't go far. You kind of begin to crawl up 
the mountain, um, kind of at that slope, trying to follow your path that you took where you ran into her, and you kind of find yourself down and turned around again. Um, but as you kind of call out, you hear your voice just kind of echoed back to you. Mother? 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 And then you just hear a cackling. Oh. <laughs> as for a moment, the fog clears. And like a tunnel, the trees almost bend over. Thirty feet ahead of you, you just see a husk of flesh and ash. <coughs> and you know uh, who else? Who's next? <laughs> Guess me. <laughs> <laughs> Give us the more for pretty sake. <laughs> <laughs> so this was this was for Kittis. Mm-hmm. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I'm literally wearing a long sleeve, and now I have chills. Oh, no. It's oh, I'm wearing a long sleeve. So. Oh. You- are pulled into a domain and it feels like a crypt you have the moisture in the air around you just dripping as it's just stagnant there's a fog that kind of fills the dream and in that fog out steps the visage of a woman twisted in nightmares and you hear the same voice that everyone else did so far. It says, question for question. What is it that you seek? How do I kill a god? Great. Killing a god, you say. That is a lofty goal you have. But there are many ways. All gods need worship. You could murder the worshippers. You could find an enemy of a god that is also a god and yield and heed their power to meet your ends. But one cannot truly kill a concept as long as the idea of that god exists. lofty goals. Good luck. As the fog fills your lungs, you find yourself just awake, laying half buried in soil. (coughs) Vines kind of latched around you, and spiders crawling on each one of those tree trunks, staring at you. No. Forming different sy- symbols just pieced together as thousands of them kind of skitter around at your awakeness, leaving just muck and silk behind, as if they were almost the ones burying you. What do you do? It's dead yet, you little. S- look around and see if I can find Telly because that was the last thing I remember seeing. So you, you're looking for Pelly? Yeah, because she thought she saw Pelly right before her that was dog. The last I saw before I died. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so what did you what did you want to do to to I wanted, for Pelly? I d- I'm just trying to like look around and trying to see because she was right in front of me last I saw her. Um, so just kind of roll an investigation or nature, your choice. Okay. Investigation or nature. Okay. Uh, let's see. 23. Okay. Of what did you roll? Uh, I rolled in 16. For investigation or nature? Investigation. Gotcha. Um, so you are investigating um where she just was i mean it was only a few steps away um and it really wasn't long enough of a distance to kind of get lost 
and <clears throat> you don't see any trace of any person, place, thing, object. It's just nature all around you. She was not there. But in your investigation, you're kind of stumbling through the trees. That <laughs> was <laughs> not what I wanted. Hang on. There's a freeze. Boss music! <laughs> a heart attack! I'll let Kittis run! <laughs> the goddess of spiders is here now! A bad transition. Yes, like, right Just start running! <laughs> Uh, you trip over something blue and winged. I found Gale! <laughs> you did indeed find Gale just laying there asleep. Not breathing. Cold. Oh. Touch. So, Gale. No, you can't have the rest. Don't, don't, you can't, you, have don't have rest. Please. you can't have the rest, please. You can't have the rest yet. I'm begging you, please! <laughs> you I had to. I'm sorry. Get to do something. No, that was my immediate thought. I'm like, if he doesn't come back, they have the rest of him. Everyone else has nightmare scale. <laughs> <laughs> you decided not to breathe. And That's true. Death, you still haven't taken a breath. Kill. So you have to roll a dime, Bob. Okay. Okay. Oh, I might really get the rest of him. No. Oh gosh. Ah <laughs> oh, crap. I was like, uh, I was like, wait, 18. we have a resurrection diamond. I was like, wait, we need a cleric for that. Um, <laughs> so you get, so yeah, so we're doing two rounds. So to keep you on pace with everybody, go ahead and roll another death roll. That's a natural one. Yep. So that means I've got one success and two fails, right? One success and ones. two fails, yep. Yep. <laughs> um, should I be nice or no? Please be nice. Actually, I was thinking if you would let me, I would probably cast Withering Bloom on myself. See if I could reheal, like if I could bring him back that way. Oh! You feel something enter your mouth and lungs, but as you're not absorbing it into your body. You acknowledge its existence and its pull, but you resist it. Right. <laughs> so Dana, what's up? <laughs> also, who's calling Snake right now? Yeah, right. <laughs> Snake? Snake! <laughs> <laughs> um, ah. Wife's going on. What's that? Dana's just gonna look around, and she's kind of, she's kind of pissed off. She's, she's gonna, swords out. She's gonna rake them across her arms, uh, in ig igniting both her rights. And she's just gonna yell at the name Idrak. So, <laughs> roll a performance. Okay. Can't well, advantage. Roll a straight performance. <laughs> okay. Natural 20 for an 18. Nice. But that's still a natural 20. You understand the influence of what's going on here. Um, these are strange amalgamations of fey and fiend creatures they existed once and they were taken into the body of a hag and basically spread back out and you realize with fog this dense that there are <laughs> probably hundreds if not thousands of them that probably inhabit this island and you're still feeling the effects of the fog. Mm -hmm. However, now to you and your vision and your eyes, it almost looks like normal fog. Mm -hmm. And you see just people wandering around, muttering them to themselves, just kind of existing. 
it sounds like wishes or final thoughts or prayers or hopes or dreams, but you can just hear it now echoing. Whereas the, the silent before, the fog seems to have lessened its effects on you. And behind every single person, you see one of the hulking creatures with antlers. And as you look over your shoulder, you feel the drip of jewel <coughs> as a hand touches your mm -hmm. shoulder. Was Cedar? Was Cedar next? Well, wouldn't oh, I no, I am. was that my action or do I get an action? I so that was your that action. was that was your action. You, you did a performance. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I made mistakes. <laughs> okay. So nothing happened and the fog is laughing at me and showing me the husk of my mother. That's great. Um as she kind of processes that, Cedar starts to get angry. And she starts to breathe a little heavier. And she just kind of whips around looking at the fog like she doesn't, she knows something is alive on this island and doing this to her. She's so tired of everything. All right, that's it. I don't care what you are or who you are. Get out here and face me. Like, you're not a coward. I am so tired of losing the people I love, and I'm so tired of being alone. So if you want to play this game, at least let me know who I am playing with. Roll a performance. <laughs> That's a 15. Okay, hold please. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the sheer fear it, that look what also washed over your face. It was at this oh, moment please. she knew. <laughs> it was at this moment she knew. She messed up. She fucked <laughs> up. Uh, also, the second Doki said hold up, I just, just thought dial up sounds. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. I don't like it. I don't like it. Between oh. the fog and twisted roots, you see what looks to be a female figure with webbed fingers. The smell kind of hits your nose and kind of makes you gasp and choke a little bit just off the smell of decay. As it seems like floating behind her, there are lights of thousands of people's wishes and dreams. As her hollow eyes stare at you and her mouth curls to a smile, What dream? You take two points of exhaustion. Oh, great! Oh, that's just freaking fantastic! But about 30 feet away from you, you see her. Um, what was it, Sharice? Sharice you see Philo's eye! <laughs> <laughs> looks over to figure, figure out what she just tripped on. <laughs> she's just like, oh, right, it's two. <laughs> <laughs> and so she kind of like, poke, like, picks up his hand and goes, blah. And she's like, <laughs> Which <laughs> hand? <laughs> the one that has, has flesh still. So. Oh. <laughs> and she's like, I'm gonna wake you up. <laughs> like, and she's just like under her muttering, like she pulls out her spell book and muttering under her breath while she's like getting withering bloom ready. And just like muttering, like these like little curses, like, freaking stupid Claire's think they can, and, like, this black Claire can't even bother to stay alive. And, <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Oh Kinnis has lost it. She's like, what the heck? I woke up with this because of her. She's like, I woke up with and covered in spiders. I don't have a clear way to kill a god without someone else's help. And now I tripped over our stupid cleric. <laughs> <laughs> and so she casts Wither in Bloom. Wither in Bloom. And so. And she casts on like damaging herself and then trying to heal him. So you you hit yourself? I hit myself. I don't see anything else to hit, do I? Uh not offhand, no. Well then okay. there's nothing to hit. <laughs> okay. Um You just like hit yourself across the face. So I guess roll a constitution saving throw against well, your you, own. She would choose spell. to fail. I would choose I mean, to fail. Yeah, I guess he would. <laughs> but because she's necrotic resistant, she'd take half damage anyways. Yeah. Oh, right. uh, Doku, I just sent you a message, by the way. Okay. It says, please, please, please don't kill our characters. <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> that was last week. That was last week when I would not stop texting that. <laughs> I was like, don't kill my bird. See our different approach. I was thinking, do it, do it. I dare you. I threatened a cage fight, so <laughs> <laughs> which is happening next week on this. <laughs> 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 anyway, so I cast, I casted it. I took, it was, I rolled eight, so four, four. damage. And I heal him, and it's like one hit die, right? It's, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so for Gale, it would be 1d8 plus 3. Yeah, plus 3. Okay, and I'm rolling that. Mm hmm Okay. Come on. Okay, that's a 6. So I'm guessing that's how much I get healed. It's spell, whatever right? plus your con mod. Hmm. So that was a 3 on a d8 plus 3, and is that... Plus my con mod as well? No. Is that what you're saying? The three oh, was okay. your con mod. Ah, right, okay. Cool. And that's <clears throat> how many hit points I now have, basically. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then Kid is like, with the minute she sees you stirring, she's like, Wakey, wakey! <laughs> <clears throat> happened Dad. Oh. <laughs> just I died. what it died so if I'm dead and I'm seeing you <laughs> I brought you back oh oh so you're not you're not throwing me to the okay cool no. oh thank goodness <laughs> Oh. The rest of that sentence, if I'm dead I mean, and seeing you, am I in hell? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, th thank you for, for bringing me back. I. What the heck is going on? Okay. What action I think would we you tired like ourselves take? out. Hmm? Oh, I was seeing what, what action he would like to take. So you. you oh, that's for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's your turn for action because I just back. Okay. Um, Gail, first and foremost, is going to sort of look at Kinnis and go, give me one second, and he's going to try and fly up and just see if he can see the, the surrounding area. I know I did this last time, but I don't want to actually do it this time, okay? <laughs> um, so you, how... Okay, so are you going to try to take like a DAS action and just like bolt upwards? Um, yeah, sure. Just to try and get an idea of roughly whereabouts we are, what the surroundings are like, that kind of thing. So you, um, just bolt upwards, um, and just fly straight up branches, just kind of snapping as they hit your face and wings as you're just kind of invigorated to kind of fly, fly upwards. Um, you don't wake up with any point of exhaustion, so you have a full movement speed, and you kind of breach um, the trees around, and you end up just 
breaching the fog right above it. And you see the island just <coughs> surrounded in kind of a, a vortex, if you will, a fog that's traveling. Um, and you can actually see as the fog moves, the very earth itself also seems to kind of be shifting. The trees are moving. You realize now that if you were to land right back where you were, you would probably be hundreds of feet from Kittis by this point. Just with the island and it's kind of moving and twisting. Um, oh. and you just had heard Kittis while you're flying up. You're welcome! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> um, and you can also see the beach in the distance and the ocean just kind of raging like the ocean would. Um, but you see what you didn't see before dozens of shipwrecks bodies laying in the sand just death all around the beaches of the island okay we were lucky to even get here alive so is Dana oh. going? <laughs> Dana is going to take both her swords and um and just stab them backwards oh into a creature yeah okay um make an attack roll i guess one or two uh well you're going back with both swords right yeah um i'll give you two but they are both at disadvantage I only have one point of exhaustion. Attack roll disadvantage doesn't come till right, three. So this doesn't come. Yeah, that's right. So you're because Caesar's on two or three. Got it. Okay, never mind. Yep. Wait, am I on two or three? Don't worry about you're it. You're on two. Okay, good, good, good. So you have disadvantage on ability <laughs> checks and your speed is halved. Love that. Love that yep. so much. <laughs> yeah, because you don't lose this to your next round. So okay, so that is a um, so that's a. 27 and a 24. Okay. And then I also get to make an attack roll with my Mimic Sword, correct? Like, because of the way the Mimic Sword works. Did you feed it today? Uh, I mean, I just woke up, so technically no, but I fed it yesterday. Did you feed it yesterday? Yes. Your... Mimic sword does not respond. Okay, that's it, fine. It actually that's seems rude. a little upset with you. <laughs> Damn. I see how it is. <laughs> it's still, because I'm assuming you still attacked it with a right, but where you would anticipate that it would be like, yeah, lash out and attack and mess it up, it just kind of goes, yeah, I'm a sword right now. <laughs> and, and, you, and you hear the stomach grumbling. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Um, so let's see. How well, then I will, when I hear that, I'll just like, as I'm slashing backwards, I'll go, you know, this thing is meat. If you attack it, you can feed, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Negotiate with your own sword. Are you, are you encouraging your mimic sword to take a bite out of this creature? Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, you know what? Yeah, we'll leave it up to fate. Go ahead. Okay. That's actually not terrible. That's an 11. Okay. So seeing as how it's hungry and it's stabbed inside of this creature, it takes a bite. So I'll roll my normal damage plus a d10? Yeah. Okay. So, sword one is seven slashing, three radiant. Sword two is six slashing, three fire. And mimic sword is in eight.
Okay. So that's 10, 16, 19, 27 damage total. Gotcha. Your Mimic Sore will take a bite and it will swallow and chew. It unattunes to you. What? Okay. <laughs> There's a reason. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> no, I trust you. I trust you. I'm sorry. <laughs> kind of how... You understand what... Well, you'll, you probably do, just being a meta player and everything. Hey, fuck you. I'm not that meta. <laughs> 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 Rain uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, Rain breaks this... Rain bends the system. Rain doesn't break the system. Exactly. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> um, so yes, it, it unattunes. And it looks at you, eyes opening on the hilt, um, almost like it regrets what it did and wants to come back to you Aww. as its eyes roll back. And it goes limp. No! Not dead, just limp. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not if taking you killed my mimic sword, I was going to fly. <laughs> I'd hate to see what Dana just... would do if I took her mimic. <laughs> okay, nobody trip over the sword, okay? <laughs> so, something else interesting happens. Um, the creatures itself, it seems completely unfazed by the attack. And it just places now a hand on your right shoulder and a hand on your left shoulder. Not enough to grapple you, but enough to be like disapproving father figure <laughs> just kind of presses down and you almost feel the pressure in your knees mm -hmm. as you realize now that you are surrounded in about 20 of these things okay and you see an image of the same woman cedar did just oh no standing in front of you uh, skinny ursula <laughs> she got tentacles. Her, 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 her solo went on Weight Watchers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I, I I still maintain Cthulhu's waifu. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I like that better. <laughs> oh my gosh! And what's interesting is, even as she approaches you, she almost just seems out of phase, out of vision, like you can't even, you can't fully see her. She's just clouded by something. And even though she kind of gets within a few feet of you, you can't really make out specific features, what she's wearing, what she's doing. It's almost like a ghastly image. Uh -huh. And you hear the words echo into your ears. You come to my island with no Not asking about fate, only asking on how to defeat my creation. So what makes you think I will let you leave this island alive? Convince she said, me. I, I'm sorry, what was that last bit? She said convince me. She's going to kind of cock her head and go, you know, if you've been watching me, paying attention to me, since I've been on this island, I mean, shit, you murdered me, then you would know I'm not here for me. I'm not here for what I want. For the first time in decades, I'm here for what someone else wants. I don't give a rat's ass if I don't get off this island. Just get those other three and her parents off the island. Roll a persuasion. Three. Ah! Oh no. Chaotic, now's your cue. <coughs> <laughs> I said nothing. I said nothing. You hydrated. <coughs> if, cha if chaotic is even here still, it's probably like I'm over this crap. <laughs> <laughs> chaotic, hear up, please. Please grant us right. the powers. Well, Chaotic did show up today, so I will give you a reroll <laughs> if you choose to take it. Uh, absolutely, holy shit. 
I'm I'm no Sam Regal. <laughs> yes, that was a slight against against Veth. <laughs> <laughs> that is a sixteen. A tentacle snaps in the air like a cracking of a whip. <clears throat> the fog clears, and clear as day, you see what looks to be a battered cedar just in the distance. The earth itself moves and pulls her closer. The creature, the woman, is standing in front of now. Both of you doesn't really seem to move, but both of you seem to be looking at an image at the front of her, and she looks at Cedar directly and says, convince me. I didn't even want to come anywhere near the Blessed Isles. I would have been happy on the other continent. But for once, I need... I've been able to survive without my family, but I've learned that they need me right now. And I want to be there this time. My home has been turned into a hell for them. And there is an absolute monster in charge of my people. I know what he is. And if I don't get off this island, the Fae are going to keep suffering. If me and my friends don't get off this island, because for some reason, for some reason, we're the ones who had to fix all this. Even though none of us asked for this. I've never liked being a chess pawn. But you know what? I'm going to cross the board and become the queen. It's what I have to do to keep them all safe. Make sure they're all okay. Screw it. That's what I'll do. He had his chance being king. Look where that got us all. So you come here looking for what? The ability my father to steal and my mother. Power? Or your family? I come for my family. Couldn't care less about the crown. But if it's what it takes to keep them safe... I would tear the, the stars out of the sky to keep my, my family and friends safe. Your mother's wish was granted when she saw you. Your father's wish will be granted when you wear the crown. And she snaps her finger this time and the fog clears and you see Cedar's father sitting up against a tree, talking to himself, muttering. <clears throat> he kind of is whittling it still, but before he was whittling his thumb, now he's kind of whittling at a stump of his wrist and his hand is missing. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> a third of his wing is now gone. <clears throat> and he's just looking piecemeal together as bits of him are just kind of falling apart. He's been here for years, unable to move on like most. I've overseen the dreams of all those who tread here for years. Yours seems conflicted. How so? act as if you were a pawn, but imagine, imagine
imagine living for thousands of years, safe harboring an island of dreams against your own will. You do not. Are you trapped know. here? And why would I do that? Because I can help you. Whether you want your family or power to become queen, I oversee dreams and wishes, so I have plenty of power to make things happen. I'm not you sure how much you were listening. I don't want to become queen, but if I have to, then I'll do it. That is an important distinction. What would you even ask for in return? Not saying I accept, but I know I like to know the stakes of a gamble before I make it. Roll a dex saving throw <laughs> with disadvantage. That's just great. Okay, give me a sec. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have ten. Do you have thirty-one life left? I wait. When I when I woke up, did I restart health? Uh, yes. Oh, then yeah, yeah, I do, I do. Okay. <clears throat> I should have the funk. So she lashes out with two tentacles, two tendrils, grabs your shoulders, and jams her webbed hand and fingers Oops. into your core turns her hand around inside you and pulls out just a missing chunk of flesh and eats it. Oh! Oh! I do not make deals. I make dreams. You literally asked me if I wanted to make a deal with you! How is that my fault? Misinterpretation. God. <laughs> and I took everything I need from you. So I can ask for what I want now? And she just eats the piece That's of that... body and flesh she just took from your core. Well, that's just my actually... story. Can I ask for a, a hypothetical slight? retcon because as she was asking about this deal and cedar was refusing i did pipe up and say i'm listening okay so we'll pause your conversation for now okay <laughs> and we'll move over to dana you seek an end to your means do you not I do, but in this moment, at this time, with these people, I don't seek an end to my means. I seek a way for them and their family to leave this island in one piece, nothing missing, perfectly intact in every conceivable way. If I have to stay... I have to stay. They are leaving. Are your lofty goals so short-sighted that it's my island that you fear? No. I don't fear you. I don't fear this. 
what I fear is what I've already lost. What I fear is what I can't get back. I'm not afraid anymore. I haven't been afraid for 48 years. And what is it that you think you cannot get back? What does selfish you say? If you know so much, you know the answer, and I don't even have to say it. And she points to the vials. Absolutely. You know, it's interesting. person who keeps the daughter of fire will probably have more than enough power to save them from where they are. Your friend with ties to the underworld that wants to kill gods. And as she says, friend, the fog clears and there's just Kittis. Like in the forest alone, just kind of like wandering. <laughs> now, now turning and seeing just two images of this woman talking back and forth to Cedar and Dana. Uh, the one with ties to souls could easily likely pull them back into the realm they need them to be. It seems like moving forward is the only thing you need to do. You're right. I don't. I never did. I never have. But she does, looking directly at Cedar. And because of that, I'm here. And, you know, it took me weeks, months with these people to realize that if I got my family back, everything that it would have cost me, they'd never look at me the same. I'd be, I'd be the monster that everyone else sees me as. And those three would be able to confirm it. I don't want that reality. So I would rather die and join them on the other side than bring them back and have them hate me. So take care of those three, not these three. That's what I'm asking of you. And you misunderstand me. No, I don't think I do. You create dreams. You make dreams a reality. Is that accurate? My dream is for these three to make it out alive with her, with the Owlin's parents. Your dream is always in threes. Yes, yes it is. It always has been and it always will be. But in this moment, but in this, in this singular instance, that dream has changed to a different three. So often in three, your name, your flesh. And? The promise of one more. One more what? And she holds out a hand in front of her. One more what? Still sitting in front of you, silent. Yeah, she, she looks down for a second. And she, uh... She, she takes a second, she thinks. And these, um... This is gonna look really weird, Cedar and Kittis. Because, uh... Oddly enough, the tear ducts in her left eye still work. And a few drops of tears just hit each of the three bottles. Mother fucking May. And she takes the hand. When she takes your hand, she twists with a jerk and your hand is ripped from its body. Just blood pours out. Your hand just ripped off in an instant your nerve endings seared the pain is there but it's almost like your hand is still attached it's such a clean rip she doesn't devour it with her mouth but she melds it into her flesh Ew. she kind of places her hand across her chest as it disappears into her chest and out comes from her fingertips another hand 
that then melds itself to your body and your name. The Nara Beach Pride. <laughs> And she places her fingertip now in your chest, and you feel a sorry, searing pain. As a scar that is there on your chest fades away deep into your body. What's more is a choice that I make. Okay. But a deal is a deal, and that decision will be in your benefit, despite your decision to make it or not. <clears throat> and the image of her vanishes from in front of you. <clears throat> the island seems completely clear for you now. No fog, no creatures. You see the wandering of people around, but nothing else is around. You feel completely healed, completely fine. Your your hand almost feels like a phantom limb, but it's actually still just attached and almost looks completely normal. <coughs> mm -hmm. And she goes to the other two now. Kittis and Gail. Oh. I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> You know, a friend of yours, and she just kind of poofs up behind you. Just oh, you had no idea. <laughs> and she's just there now. And both of you have an image of her next to you over your right shoulder, leaning in, whispering into your ear. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> your friend wished for your safety <laughs> off this island. What is it that you wish for? And we'll go to Gail first. Okay, um, Gail immediately freaks out at this, he was like, ah, ah, what the heck, okay, <laughs> sorry, I didn't, you're, you're floating what? above the island still, outside of the fog, yeah. like no one else is around except for this green ghostly image of a woman who's now behind your right shoulder, almost wrapping <laughs> her tendrils around you. Okay. You're a little bit different from what I'm used to. This that much is clear. What do I want from this island? I want to help the people closest to me. There's something here that we need. Well, that my friend needs. I just want to help her be happy. She sighs. Such children. Where's the greed and lust for fate and more? I offer you the same deal. Your name, your flesh, and more. And she holds out a hand kind of in front of you and just kind of reaching kind of towards your chest in a, in a take my hand type of fashion. You mentioned a deal. Normally in a deal, there's something for both parties. You get me, but what do I get? What you asked for. What your friends want. And I can't help but notice you asked my name. Are you Fae Queen? Once, maybe. But now. And now? <laughs> and she breathes on you. And you just smell the decay and the rot mixed with ocean spray and seaweed 
kind of like a ship full of bodies washed ashore after three days floating in the ocean sun. It just <laughs> basically waters your eyes and tickles your nose and causes you kind of to <laughs> and gag and retch just by <laughs> being next to her. Okay. Yeah. Definitely not fake queen anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and <clears throat> yeah, you still require champions. That's why you're offering us this deal. You wish to know the mechanics behind my power. Well, I've met your sisters. I have no sisters. Maybe not now. I will eat part of you, meld it with myself, give it back. At which point then I will then have the power to make a decision on your behalf that will benefit you. It'll be a pass to see what I see that you might not. And in exchange, I get a piece of you. You know, I'm getting really tired of deities wanting parts of me. You, Aquafena, Shanti, you all want me. Why? <laughs> I do not want your and child. I serve a purpose to this world. You come here facing death to reach a goal, that goal, like others, to just save your little friends. This is a job I have here. I am unremarkably bored with the idea of the world collapsing. I do not care if the Feywild and Shadowfell collide in creation. I will have my island, and people will seek me out, and that is just the nature, <laughs> the nature of my existence. You wish to know all things. You can know anything you wish. Your goal is simple. I'm offering you aid. I do not care. But one thing mechanically about this island is those who reach a deal live. Those who don't often don't make it off the island. Yes, I've noticed the handiwork of those who have tried. And as you say that, the fog clears, and you just see, like, bodies littering the forest floor, like, getting back up, like, arms falling off of themselves, like, uh -huh. wings just losing feathers, just people, like, banging their heads up against tree trunks, <laughs> like, it's just a horror show. Sorry, Yay. the whiplash from that moment. <laughs> it's a horror show. People banging heads. Also, cat. <laughs> I, gotta help, I gotta help you guys feel a little Third bit better. Panel. Oh, Third yeah. Third panel. It's like, <laughs> oh, here's a horrified thing. Oh, look, a dog. Oh, look, a cat. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm literally just that one meme that, look how calm she is. Owl turns around. <laughs> yep. I think Gail's going to see this horror show. And he's going to turn to whatever this thing is. And he's going to say, these people, you say some of them are dead, and yet this is some kind of torture. No. them alive until their dreams come true. How long does that take? <laughs> Time is not a part of my domain. She 
she doesn't reach here. Time is a construct of your reality. Oh, shoot, we're gonna end up being like months gone again, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Again! Yes. I have a stopwatch going, just so you're all aware. Oh, oh my no. gosh. <laughs> There's a mechanic behind time jumps. Let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> You guys, you guys already know that it's been more than a day. Yeah. Because Dana didn't feed her sword. I have a stopwatch that can tell me how long we've been. Like, a watch. It can tell me what time it is. <clears throat> Are you a big green thing? So... I have a watch! <laughs> okay, um... The guy will ask... Um, this creature. You mentioned the others. I'm guessing you made the same deal with them. What was the outcome? She holds out a hand and says nothing. Ah, I guess I've exhausted all my questions. You won't share anything else unless I make a deal with you. Again. You claim this will help my friend. This will make my dream come true. I will see your friend's safety, and I will help them through you. That's what I'm counting on. And... Gail will reluctantly reach out with his arm. She's so fucking annoyed at how long that took that you <laughs> feel the fervor and just the drool coming from her mouth as she was waiting Ew. for a meal. As she goes for your shoulder instead of your hand and rips off your arm um, just above <laughs> the elbow. Goes to just her arm. Opens her or is this the same wide. arm? Just oh. progressive. Mechanical oh, hand. yeah. Mechanical oh, it's hand. mechanical arm. Okay. So, mechanical okay. arm, forearm, flesh. And she just opens her jaw wide and leans back. Um, if you guys have ever seen Daybaker, Daybreakers, the, <laughs> the zombies there, they just <laughs> open mouth. And she just swallows your whole arm, mechanical hand and all. And the mechanical parts of it, the artifact, if you will, kind of just kind of comes out of her side piece by piece and bolt by bolt falling apart to the ground as an arm of her own duplicates she grabs it shoves it in almost dislocating what's left of your stump shoulder as it melds its flesh together and your arm is back to normal the mechanical hand is gone and it is just flesh and bone I can keep strong. his arm. <laughs> That's what you get out of this. <laughs> and yes. <your> name. <laughs> you want my name as well. As a part of the deal. You've already agreed. Very well. You may know me as Alias. That is what some people call me. And that's what you're getting. <laughs> it's the name given to me by those who raised me. you bounce up and stand on your feet your wings spread <laughs> you are now looking at all of your friends and please you... tell me you guys are real <laughs> they are oh, 
thank goodness. Kiddus. Hiya. <laughs> you have a woman standing next to you in your ear, whispering. Her smell actually smells familiar, like a crypt. Just peaceful, silent, serene. You can see your friends kind of communicating and talking to each other, Dana and, and Gail. Um, but you're kind of stuck in your own moment as you have someone. So, what is your dream you wish to make a deal for by coming here? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> The truest one. You wish to dive into your fate, do you not? To kill your god? That's what it takes to be free. Do you understand what she's doing? Why she wants you? No grandfather made a deal with her. Someone told me. I can probably tell you. And she reaches out a hand. Your name, your flesh, and more. <laughs> can I hug you? Bless <laughs> the child. She'll take the hug. <laughs> My name is Kittis Vilta, my darling. <laughs> And she embraces you. Her tendrils oh wrap all the way around, squeezing you. She cracks your spine, and your body goes numb as it's just mm. limp. And that tendril then just scoops up like ten vertebra, just oh. out of your back, like Mortal Kombat style, just rips it out like a noodle. And she just begins crunching it and smiling as bones start coming from the palm of her hand upright. What's interesting is they look almost coated in a purple shine, almost as if she took a piece of phyllo as well. And it's now also being recreated and represented by these bones. And she shoves it back in, and the wound just kind of stitches itself as she runs her hand across your back. Oh no, did she wreck my tattoo? No. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everything seems I to be back in a normal state. A deal was struck that upon your death, a prophecy would be completed. Loth needs your power to kill her sisters. And yet the queen of the underworld itself, of Shadowfell, decided that to prevent Loth from having this power, she would keep you alive. And she sold your soul to fate itself. So you want to leverage power? Leverage the Raven Queens and seek your justice and win your freedom. And if you ever need a little guidance, just listen for the tingle in your back. My little kiddos. And now you are back in front of your friends. She is gone. And now the only one frozen is Cedar. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Is she saying anything or do I say something? <laughs> so, it seems your friends have bought your safety. They all bought the safety of each other except for the little one. She, she decided to be greedy, which was so much more satisfying. You to save your family. I can save Both families. 
I can save all but two. There is no deal to broker. For your parents. There's no hope for them, is there? No. They've been dead a long time. Your mother's dream was realized when you were safe. Your father's dream will be realized when you are queen. If you want his safety, if you want him gone from my domain, you must accept your fate you're so unbeholden to. <laughs> so tell me again what your dream is. Do you wish to see your family running this country, you as a shadow monarch flying around the world with your friends. Be greedy. It's more tasty. Shut up and let me think. Being queen is just a means to an end. My dream is their happiness. My family, my friends. That is what I want. I don't care what happens to me. I haven't cared in a long time. But you know what? I made a promise to those three. And they... They've gone through hell and back for me. So maybe I will be a little greedy in that I am going to make my word mean something. And I'm going to help each and every one of them with what they want. That is my dream. Let me say goodbye to my parents. She holds out a hand. You're, you're so sick and twisted. I hope you know that. And then she puts her hand in the fairy's hand. She grips your hand as her tendrils wrap around and rip the wings from your very back. She pulls the feathers into her chest and pectoral muscles. The bones crack and curl and as they just mold into her flesh. And a new pair of wings grows from her back as she removes them and places them back into your body and they mold and your name. Do you have a preference which one? Your real one. Cedar Nictea, the name I despise. The island goes empty. The fog is gone. The creatures are gone. The queen is gone. And you lot are standing together in a clearing. In your winter clothes and you are sweating profusely. It is probably a tropical 102 degrees Fahrenheit. And you guys are just boiling as you're just kind of like awkwardly sweating now but the island just seems beautiful seems like it's just full of nature and just like a normal tropical island it's just it's not like it was just moments before when out of a small clearing of trees your father walks out looking fairly normal and he looks at you and kind of snaps in a realization for a moment of what he's looking at. And he's like, C Cedar, C Cedar, is that you? Hello, father. What in, what in the world are you doing here? I came here for you and mother. I'm so sorry. No, there's, 
there's nothing to be sorry for. There's nothing. You're here. You're safe. That's what matters, right? I failed. You didn't. I wanted to save you too, but it's not going to work. You didn't. I'm alive. I'm here. We still have a chance. We can find the library. That's why we're here. That's why I'm here. The library should give us everything we need. And that's... that's why did you do island. come here? I came here I because did do that. we needed to be running the country again. The people are suffering under military rule. What? <laughs> you know this, or you would if you didn't leave. I left. Because you tried to sell me, basically, when I was ten. I didn't. I used you as an end to a family you could ruin from the inside. My hopes would be that you would run that family and we would be able to rule. Yes, I was greedy and short-sighted when you were ten, but you're here now. And you can rule again. That's all I want. That's all we want. hoped for a second, maybe. But, whatever. Listen, I should not have to be the one doing this. You and Mother were supposed to protect me. All of us. I, I, I love it. you, but you... The blood in the water now has polluted this so badly. I'm going to do what I need to do. But don't think for a second I wanted this. Listen, as a royal, it is your duty to your country. It's not about what you want. It's not about... And he stops talking. And falls <laughs> apart in front of you. Fades into the soil. And he's gone. I'm sorry, Father. <laughs> what just happened? I think he's passed on. May his soul rest in peace. I'm so sorry, you guys. You didn't need to do any of that. I'm so sorry. And Cedars kind of drops to her knees on the... Whew, ah, <laughs> on the sand. Question. Is it is it obvious that everyone else made deals as well? I think, wasn't Cedar standing, like, right next to Dana? You guys, so you guys were all frozen in your own little <sighs> time bubbles, if you will. Um, no one would technically be aware of what anyone else did. Okay. Oh, okay. So you guys Forget saw each other. Then. Yeah, you guys saw each other, you were talking, um, and you saw, like, figures of the same woman you were talking to talking to them, but you don't know the outcomes. Oh, I kind of check on Philo. I'm like, how did this affect my little fuzzy buddy? <laughs> I did not consider how this would affect my fuzzy buddy. <laughs> so, interestingly enough, Philo comes out to kind of see you and greet you. Um, you can see a section of his back that seems to have been replaced. It is kind of bald and looks like scarred flesh. Otherwise, he looks, feels, and is acting very normal. What's interesting, though, is you also see his paws are not a normal color. They are miscolored. And you know with the deal you made that you what was taken was part of his back and as a part of you you know after seeing that he made his own deal 
exactly what he is. Oh, buddy. I'm here. You just kind of like pick him up and just kind of like hold him. He feels dense. Like mana dense. He's the same weight, but he is very, very, very strong feeling to you right now. And it almost mm. makes you feel stronger. And as he hugs you and he pulls away, he smiles, winks, and hands you a gift. Right? Is this the appropriate time? <laughs> For everybody else. I mean, Hold on. the gift was one of those car horns. <laughs> right. it Sorry. Is what the appropriate time? Because it was going to be this session, right? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was going to be next session, but we can do it this session too if you want. We'll do it this session because I have it. Okay. I mean, you already you already uh, set it up. What am I getting? <laughs> he hands Happy you. Happy birthday. A small snow globe. My snow globe! <laughs> that is filled with an image of a crashing ocean and a boat on it. Just a raging sea. And this snow globe will have a spell in it that once a day, and you can recharge it by moonlight, you'll have one charge of resilient sphere. And so, my, yep. my snow globe. Oh, she oh, like yeah. it. I love my snow globe. <laughs> I'm going to abuse this when we're not combat. <laughs> I'm not expecting nothing less. Words. Happy birthday. <laughs> so this my is what I got. Globe. I love it. <laughs> oh. So. You will be able to cast Resilient Sphere through the snow globe. You just kind of have to shake the snow globe. And while something is trapped in the Resilient Sphere, if you do trap something in it, it replaces the image of the ocean on the sea uh, with a reflection of what's trapped in your sphere. It would be so funny. Next time I get mad at one of you guys. <laughs> oh dear, no. Oh no. <laughs> See to roll a perception check. Oh gosh. Um. <laughs> oh. Oh no. I think I know what you're about to do, and I don't like it at all. Ten. Makes sense. Makes yeah. sense. She's not doing great right now. <laughs> you look up. Because you see movement in the distance. And for just a split second out of your peripheral, you thought you saw your dad. But in that moment, your attention was actually more fixed on the cabin. With what looks to be lights on and a smoke burning. Sitting in the middle of the island. And it wasn't there previously. What the heck? Huh. She kind of takes a second, breathes, just kind of very quickly kind of brushes through like the like top, like feathers on her head, kind of almost like a self-soothing kind of deal. And she turns around, sees her friends, and she just runs towards them and starts like checking them for injuries. Like, just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, are you okay? Oh my gosh. And I feel like in that moment, when Cedar was doing her stuff and Kiddith was checking on Philo, Dana would have been... Dana would have just looked over at Gale and gone, Did you say yes? I did. I'm and she's just gonna... Well. She's gonna take her fingernail and she's gonna run it across the top part of her left eye and give herself a cut. And you'll watch her right fist envelop in flame as she just gives you the meanest fucking right hook. Ah! Dana! 
for five okay. points of damage. Okay. Damaging five on back down to my hit point. Okay. I'm guessing you didn't want me to do that. I made a deal so you wouldn't have to. Cedar's expression changes a little bit. I didn't know, Dana. None of us did. You guys make deals okay. too. I don't give a rat's ass about myself. I never have. Not in 48 fucking years. You should have known a creepy motherfucker comes up to you and says, Hey, let me take a piece of you and I'll give you something back. You say no. Just, just playing with Philo. Just, just sure, like, ignoring Dana. Dana. And, and actually, in that moment, she goes and she, like, like furiously points at Kittis and goes, That one, that one I fucking expected it from. Not you. Um, Dana, I had my reasons, just as you did. I get that you're mad at me, I really do. And I accept that. And she's gonna, she's gonna grab at your right hand and go, I did this to protect what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, this I was shot too. Hand. Oh, dead. I mean, Dana just shoots you a little cool. bit of a death glare. Just kind of a little delirious spurt of a laugh, like slips out of Cedar. <laughs> of course, oh, of course you think of that. <laughs> oh. Dana, I didn't know that was going to happen. And as you guys are doing this, Dana uh, has a tongue lash across the side of her face from her sword. This it is okay. jumping on its hilt, jaws open, kind of clacking its teeth and sword she melt together. She opens the meat bag. Mm -hmm. So hungry. And it, it just like dives in and just starts <laughs> eating like 10 or 15 different portions as your attunement <laughs> reinitiates itself. Okay. And she just, she goes, look, that obvious upgrade aside, why? All I've done since I've been with you people, is try to stop you from becoming me. What you've just done brings you one step closer. He's not the only one, Dana. Question, did, um, did Cedar still take all that damage? I don't think I did because you didn't yanked the out of my stomach so dana uh no not a uh, cedar did oh i did okay so yeah. she did still take 31 points of please damage. don't hit me you'll kill me <laughs> <laughs> um she's, yeah she's i'm on like, one hit point now she, so. she's, yeah she's looking pretty worse for wear yes I have a total she of just, three uh, hit points. her wounds are intact there's nothing missing mm. she just she when she hears that from cedar she just kind of whips her head around a little bit stares you dead in the eyes, mutters something unintelligible under her breath, and casts sleep. <laughs> yeah, that works. Um, yeah. You know what? I want to roll I'm, to get I'm not even going to roll. I don't have to. Just for fun. Oh, you don't have to? No. Yeah. No? Okay. You're, you're so low because it's 5v8. Oh, right. You're so I'm low. I don't have to. Poorly. Right, and I still have like two exhaustion right now. That's great. Yep. Go to sleep. We're going to postpone the panic attack for some sleep. <laughs> go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Well, it's, sleep. it's only a minute <laughs> long, so. Cedar drops. I can use the dream suit! <laughs> you won't be able to wake up! Not unless I break it. No, not when I put the, if I put the dream stone on. <laughs> the dream stone keeps you asleep until I'm done! Oh, you little... <laughs> Oh no. 
Yeah, Cedar's asleep on the sand right now. She can't say anything about this. <laughs> uh, like, you see, like, this, like, you see Candace's face when um, Cedar just drops. She just, like, reaches into her bag and just, like, like, looks at Dana, like, Hi. I don't know what the fuck. And she, like, um, gathers Philo up onto her shoulder and just runs over and goes, like, <laughs> it just, she goes, look, I've I've spent months trying to protect you people. I don't know why. I don't know if I ever will. You're the first people I've given a fuck about since them. And she kind of gestures down to the bag. I have a reason to jump on the knife every single time that I do because I didn't have that chance back then and I would give anything to go back and do it over so I'm trying to do it right this time and none of you are making it easy Dana you can't force someone to accept your help you can't assume that someone wants it want to your help, but you can't just jump in and save me every time. I don't expect to save you. Expect to save them. You... I don't even know what to make of you. I mean, for, that means... That's the same for them, though. I don't really get a lot of people's emotions. Yeah, you, in case you haven't quite gotten that. I do know that one. Oh. Anyway, I'm going to make Cedar dream of happiness. <laughs> I think she needs it. And she just, she raises up her flame engulfed hand again. And instead of punching you, just wraps you in the tightest hug and goes... I, I love all of you, but if you do that stupid shit again, you will see a side of me I've been trying to bury for 30 years. You're gonna see that side anyways. Don't make it be because of you. Believe me, that's the last thing I want, Dana. I don't Follow know me. if you call me that anymore. You know the deal we made. I understand. I don't know if that's my name anymore. Still gonna go by Kittis. It has a beautiful ring to it. So, if we don't call you Dana, then... What should we call you? You'll find out soon enough. Very well. In that case, I'll do as you say. I won't do... I'm not what, telling what, you to, to breathe when I tell you to breathe, to eat when I tell you to eat. I'm just telling you, don't, don't be me. Don't make all the stupid, selfish decisions. And I know that what you did was probably what I did. So it was the last thing from a selfish, stupid decision. But it was a very stupid decision. It just wasn't selfish. But I'm here to protect y'all. I'm here to make sure that y'all are okay. That, you want to know a secret? I was here, I was in that city all those months ago to burn it the fuck down just like Philo did. And then I saw y'all fighting for it. And I changed my mind. Y'all changed my mind. How? How did we change your mind? Just... 
Just by fighting? By fighting for people that you shouldn't be fighting for. By fighting for people that are fighting against you. You fought to save people that want nothing more than your own destruction. And you fought for them like they were your own. That's right. Because to me, those are still people that needed help. It doesn't matter what political reasons or ideological reasons. At the end of the day, there were innocents there. People that didn't ask to be in a war, Dana, or whatever you want us to call you. They didn't want to be there, and that's why I fought. So, yes, I make stupid decisions, but I make them so that people that don't have to fight don't. Because not everybody deserves to die. Because not everybody deserves to lose people. I did what I did today. Because I don't want others to feel the same way that I do. Because I've lost people, Dana, we all have. And yes, like I say, I have made a stupid decision today. But in my heart, I had a good reason for doing so. I, I know sometimes you look at me and you see an airhead who makes the stupid decisions. No, I don't. But there is more to that. I look at you and I see me 48 years ago. Which fucking terrifies me. Because me 48 years ago turns into me today. Me today, not where you want to end up. When I look at you, I don't see some dumbass who only does things for other people. I see a kind-hearted individual who only wants the betterment for people. I see someone who wants nothing more than to watch other people thrive. And I see someone who could lose it all and be absolutely shattered, just like I was. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. That's why I gave you this. And she kind of pokes at the, the scorch mark on your face. I did this to try and knock some sense into you so you don't become this. And she gestures at herself. You're the one that I'm closest to and the one I'm afraid of most because you're the one that's most like I was. You're the one that has the most to lose. You think I have a lot to lose? Absolutely. I don't. At this moment, all I have are you guys. And if I know you, if I know who I was, we have become your everything. So if you lose us, to everyone else, you'll be losing three people. To you, you'll be losing everything. And you will be shattered, and you will never be the same. Am I hitting any marks? Pretty much exactly. That's what I'm trying to stop. You can lose one of us, and you will never be the same, but you will be better off than losing all of us. I'm trying to protect them from losing you. I'm trying to protect you from becoming me. Okay. Just, Message I'm not saying, understood. I'm, I'm not saying do what I say when I say it. I'm saying 
think. Think if it's honestly your only option. Because I made my deal only when I saw that thing trying to cut one with cedar. I see. I only made that deal because I saw none of you. I tried to find ways around it. I think I bored it, or her, or whatever. The only reason I took that deal was because I couldn't see any other way out for any of us. I did think, perhaps not in the way that you would expect, but there was some modicum of thought. But, now you said that, I will try my best to think more. Think outside the box, see at new angles. I can't guarantee that I'll not do it again. I don't expect you to give me a guarantee. Guarantees are bullshit illusions. I just... I don't... I don't expect anything from you. Because expecting things of people is part of what turned me into me. I I just, I want you to be you. I want you to be innocent, to give a shit, to have friends, to find love, whatever it is. I don't care what it is, as long as it's what you want. You motherfucker. <laughs> Earthquake! <laughs> Just one of those monsters Sorry. comes up. Uh, we are in the middle of a moment here. Back up. Let's stop, let's stop paying attention. Not now. I'm busy. <laughs> and she just goes, Look, honestly, after hearing what I've heard from your side of things, I, I don't regret punching you in the face. <laughs> but... You have earned my respect. I'll take and that. she just she she hugs you a little bit tighter. Oh, nearly dead, nearly dead, nearly dead, nearly dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, okay. Kittis is kind of just watching and live streaming this to like <laughs> Sophie in the through the dream stone. <laughs> Wait, to Sophie in the Dreamstone? Who's Sophie in the- oh, Cedar, 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 Cedar. So I you... didn't die, I have to make a new character. Should you... I stop killing? You placed the Dreamstone on Cedar's head? Oh no. I think she did earlier. I've been asleep for earlier the whole time. I have knocked out via spell. Couldn't wake up. When I wake up at some point, I'm bored of being asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back Sleep is boring. <laughs> And that's where we'll end the session. No. <laughs> oh, <Let's go>. no. <laughs> well, we done fucked ourselves. Gosh, wait, I can see darn this. it. Wait, I can see this. I put the dream zone I can see it. Yeah. Wait, is this where I am? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah son of okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. I just went through the five stages of grief, but okay. <laughs> through the five stages of exhilaration. <laughs> I love you too. All right. I'm not dead. So, <laughs> I'll go ahead and end the point... stream here. I'm being summoned anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, hold on. Um, I can't end it. Bye. 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 We'll be back again on Sunday. Normal Bye -bye. time.